Hello and welcome back to the Women's War week by week. We've talked recently about some extraordinary women whom I suppose one could say set off to find the war. Well, today I thought you might like to hear about 60-year-old American citizen Mildred Aldridge, who had retained clear and painful memories from her girlhood of the American Civil War. An independent single lady, she had lived in Paris since 1898. Now it was the Great War which ended up almost literally in her back garden. Let me tell you how. In November 1913 financial difficulties had forced Mildred to leave Paris, although not her beloved France. Intense house hunting brought her in July 1914 to a small and, as she herself admitted, highly impractical house at Rigui on the left bank of the River Marne. We all know the importance of location, location, location. Surely this wasn't a location Mildred would have chosen if she had had a crystal ball. She had barely made the cottage habitable when the war drums started to beat. The Battle of the Marne swirled around her in the first few weeks of the war and her heart ached not only for the soldiers but also for the refugees caught up in it. Many Belgian families had tried to escape the invading German army and along the road went cars and carts packed with weary and stunned women, children, the elderly and the frail, the dispossessed. Soldiers too came and went, sometimes spending only a few hours in the village, but often finding their way to the hospitable Mildred's kitchen where she quite literally emptied her store cupboards to feed them. And she kept in touch by letter with a few of the so soldiers and often learnt with devastation of their deaths in action. However, by early December 14, Mildred is no longer living on the front line. And so she decides to visit the nearby town of Meaux and the surrounding area to see for herself the aftermath of the fighting that she had watched from her hilltop on the Marne. That this is an area out of bounds to civilians bothers her not one jot. Mildred and her maid companion Amélie simply decided to outwit the military authorities who were restricting movement around the area. Stopped by a soldier brandishing a bayonet, Mildred just brazened it out. I tried to look magnificently unconcerned as I leaned forward to smile at the soldier. I think she is almost disappointed to recount. The examination of the papers was the most cursory thing imaginable, a mere formality. The guard merely lifted his gun and motioned to us to proceed. Lax border guards and controls are not, it would seem, a 21st century invention. Come back soon to hear what Mildred and Amélie encountered on their December 1914 visit to the area which is now on the edge of the war zone. There's a picture of Mildred in the donkey cart that she used for transport on the website. I think you'll, I think you'll agree that it's hardly surprising that she was seen as a larger than life character by the village people who became so fond of her in the little French village so close to the Marne. Come back soon to hear more about Mildred and other women as we go through the women's war week by week.